<laughs> Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to, I think right now, uh, One Piece of Podcast. Yes. Um, oh, my God. And the, <laughs> the last time we did this, uh, well, welcome, at least anyways, welcome back to our tier list thingy. We did this last time for the East Blue arc, um, or the I think it's the Romance Dawn arc, but this time we're doing it for Alabasta, because we have finished Alabasta. We are heading into Skypea, which I'm really excited about. But, um, yeah, so we wanted to talk about some of the characters and kind of Thank our God thoughts and opinions, right? I'm so happy we're done with Alabasta. Uh, but anyways, I, we want to get into and talk about uh, some of the characters of, or at least some of the more, you know, predominant characters We're going to rank characters, people. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's the best way to describe it. Same thing as last time. Uh, we have a list of characters. You can find the link down in the description uh, of the video to our tier list that we made for this uh, with the images that we pulled from the interwebs. Um, and like last time, this is mainly going to be Zeke's opinion because I've already seen One Piece, right? I already have my opinions. I am gonna have. I'm gonna have my own list that I will. We will show at the end of the series. At the end of not the series, but at the end of this episode. Uh, and this is mainly going to be a Zeke talking. I'll give my input periodically. Uh, because obviously he is still new to One Piece, and after this arc specifically everything will be completely blind to him. Yes. So this is the last arc where we'll kind of get a glimpse of, you know, his overall opinion uh, on uh, on One Piece and Alabaster's is the last one. So, all right, whenever you're good to go, Zeke. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we're starting with the main cast, like usual, with Luffy. Okay. Luffy. Yeah. A rank. Yep, I agree. Um, There's He kind of just fits right there. Yeah. He beat Crocodile, which is the main villain. Um, not much to put your hat on, unfortunately. Crocodile is a pretty trash villain. Oh, in case people don't know, didn't like this arc. Didn't like this arc at all. And if you watch our podcast sh uh, show, you'll you'll get that same sentiment from there. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. the fight was all over the place with Crocodile, which is what I didn't enjoy. They had like five different meetings, and it was all just a jumbled mess. But what I will say is that Luffy... After failing in the desert and like being impaled, he comes back, you know, and he has like a plan to say, okay, I need to think differently on how to approach this person so I can actually beat him. So that was pretty cool to see how Luffy failed, but didn't give up and instead came back stronger and better. I don't know whose plan yep. it was to use the water. It makes me... I don't think it was Luffy, but if it was... It was Luffy's idea. I think it was Luffy's idea originally because in the sand uh, area where he was getting sucked down that turn, that uh, sand hole thingy, the wormhole, mm -hmm. uh, and he came back up and he had that blood, he was able to physically grab um, Crocodile because his hand was covered in blood. And when he grabbed him, he was like, oh, I can actually grab you. And then Crocodile proceeded to finish the fight and then leave Luffy in the sand. I thought it was during, like, because Robin fished him out, and he, he, like, wound up in, like, a tavern eating food to, like, heal. And I thought someone yeah. there gave him the idea to, like, use water. But I it might be It probably was. It probably was. That that makes more sense. But, yeah. Anyway, Luffy, A tier. Um, main character status still to this day. And we actually saw him fail. Didn't see him train, but we just saw him come back with a different strategy. So I guess that's good enough. He's creative in, this, in his way of fighting. Yeah, he is. In this arc, anyways. Zoro, A tier. Um, not much to say. Favorite character still to this day, obviously. Uh, but he did defeat Mr. One, which is, I guess, second in command to Crocodile. I don't even want to get started on how Crocodile treats his numbers and the Baroque work system. That could even be his own separate video if it has to be about why that whole situation was a sham. So it might be. Look out for that. It might be a separate video. But anyway, he beats number one, uh, Mr. One. Uh, Zoro can like cut metal now, even though Liam was really hesitant to acknowledge that. But oh no, no, he was so Liam, you were hesitant to say, oh, he can sense what to cut and what not to cut. Because in the yes. in the fight, he takes his he takes his blade, right? Zoro does. And like as he's like reminiscing about his training with his uh sensei guy and how the sensei was saying, Hey, you know, like you you can cut this paper or like you, like like he showed Zoro like how he didn't cut paper. And then he can cut something else. And it's like talking about all that stuff. Like, hey, you know, next level of swordsmanship is like knowing what to cut, knowing how, how to cut it, all that stuff. And Zora didn't really get that. But at that moment with Mr. One, he realized how to how to cut. 
uh yes. like 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 cer- like he realized how to cut like anything so like before like you couldn't cut steel like you just can't uh i yeah i said metal it's supposed to be steel you couldn't cut steel Zoro's able to cut steel now and i'm like oh that's that's op he's a he, he's a rank i he could even be s rank at this point right now but i'm gonna just tamper my expectations and keep him at a rank because he's got to be consistent in how he's able to like cut steel now or like his fighting prowess he's he's got to show me consistency so He'll still be A rank, but I am, I'm right there putting him at S rank already. I'm, I'm so close to doing that. That's understandable. I was, so what I was going for with the, the Zoro thing was, uh, he started cutting that leaf and he started to understand, I think this is the first time we've ever, se- I want to say it's the first time that we've seen this, uh, power system being introduced into the show. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If not, then we'll see it later on down the line, of course, but, uh. That that was like I was that was my revelation. It was like, oh my god, this could have been. I think this is, you know, possibly the first time we ever see that power scaling. First get introduced, and Zoro is the one to introduce it. So, yeah. sweet. Um, Sanji, a rank. Um, I think <clears throat> I would imagine that a lot of the Straw Hats are probably going to be sitting around the A rank because there's not too much that really changed with them. So I can say right now, these first three did not change in their status. They stayed the same. This arc did not do anything to move him up or down. Zoro, probably the closest to being moved up, but he still stayed A. Uh, Sanji, he beats Mr. Two, which apparently is a big deal uh, because he's the second and not like any lower than that. But I don't know, my opinion, don't don't really see it. But that that goes into how I view Baroques as an organization in the first place. But anyway, uh, I, I hated this battle. <laughs> I don't know about you, Liam, but I hated this don't. battle with a passion. It was a gag. And uh, I just wasn't a fan. It could have been so much better, but it turned into a comedy routine. And that's kind of the- plays awesome. As, yeah. as, as, that's kind of the ongoing trend with the Baroque fights is just, it's just a comedy routine. And I'm like, not a fan of that. But Sanji, still still A tier. Didn't, didn't do anything to lower himself. So that's good, at least. Yeah. But Bon, bon, Clay, bon Clay put up a good fight and he's a really good character. And I love Bon Clay, so. <laughs> okay. Nami, Nami, B, uh, ooh, B rank. She moved up. She was C. Now she's a B rank. So good for Nami. Um, she was able to beat the cafe lady, who I know it's not. I think her name's like what double double finger or something. I don't like her. Yeah. Don't like her. So I call her the cafe lady because that was what she should have just been. Should have just been that. Anyway, she beat her. Um, she has a new weapon now. It's like a little staff that can like break apart and do a lot of elemental um fighting kind of it has thing. a name it does have a name it's called the climb attack here's the deal that was supposed to be a comedy gag because that's what Usopp made it for but uh-huh. i i raised her up to this level not just because she beat a strong opponent in quotation marks strong opponent uh, not only because of that but because she actually was resourceful in how she used the uh, gag that Usopp built her because he did not think it was supposed to be a weapon at all so she used it very resourcefully. She understood how elements could be combined to create actual like a, a, a threat, you know, with like water, heat, turning to like lightning, thunder, all that stuff, um, and explosive power. So credit to her and you know all of that. That that just screams Nami to me. Being able to use her brain to facilitate her fighting, and so that's B rank. Okay. I just thought of something uh, that's tied to Nami and Luffy and Sanji all at the same time, and it was during Drum Island, when uh, Luffy was climbing up the one of the spires, holding on to Nami and uh, Sanji all at the same time, and I that just popped in my mind, and that kind of I, I for the Alabasta arc for now, anyways. I don't know if he's gonna stay up there. I'm actually moving Luffy up to S, cause yeah, just that one scene. Oh. Okay. Yeah, showing his true captain status. Yeah, absolutely. I I have no complaints with that. From like just a yeah, I have no complaints if he could be S. Um, but I, I, I keep my A. Um, but he, he didn't do anything stupid in this arc. So I I agree, like he's actually maturing a lot and you know, just going you know, just piggybacking off what Luffy, uh what Liam said is that in East Blue, that arc, he was just a fool. I'm yeah. already seeing his maturity go up leaps and bounds you know he's really caring for his crew he wants them to be safe he well he will die for them um 
or at least cause a lot of bodily harm to like make sure they're safe and, and protected because I mean, Nami was the one who was sick. He could have just left Sanji down there and just climbed up with Nami alone. But he's like, hell no, I'm not leaving anybody. And I'm going to just drag everybody up the mountain. So that was a pretty good scene. You're right. Yep. Uh, and that's, that's actually all of the mainline Straw Hats as of right now until we uh, got some of the other Straw Hats in. They're just going to ignore Usopp and Chopper? Uh, oh, I always, I, I'm not even going to acknowledge Usopp because Usopp's already on my S tier rank because he's already God. <laughs> but we so... have to at least bring him up. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already have him on my list as S tier, so that's why I just kind of... Sorry. Usopp, B rank for me. He beats... Oh, no. He beats the Mo Lady and Mr. Four, which is great. I appreciate that. He moves up. He moves up from C to, C to B, so... Good job, Usopp. Keep on being steady, and he'll see himself at S rank one day. Uh, his counterpart, God, is already there, but who knows? Maybe maybe normal Usopp can get there, too. We'll have to wait and see. Mm, okay. Chopper. He replaces Nami and Usopp, and he becomes the C rank main character. Um, he's a doctor. He was introduced okay. in this arc, right? Introduced in this arc. Yeah. Drum, Drum Kingdom was the best version of himself. He did way more when we wow. first met him. When we first met him, he did way more. He fought, he used his brain, and he used his medical knowledge. Where the fuck did that go when he went to the desert? <laughs> Where did all oh, of that that's go? that's right. Because he was walking around the market, and he was getting, he was huffing those perfume, uh, the, yeah, literally the perfume uh, that was going into nostrils. And he was like, oh, this is making me sick, and all the heat is everywhere. And it's like, well, you're a reindeer. Then he passed out in a carriage that he doesn't know. Then he just gets lost because of that. It's like, where did all of this ingenuity and this creativeness, this good character, where did the good character go? So it could have been him at a B in the first half. You know, they, yeah. they, they got us in the first half, but the second half, hell no. You're, you're going, that was like D level in the second half. So it's a good average to just put him at, at, uh, at a C rank. And it's just, just disappointing. Cause I'm like, yo, Chopper, you sort of assisted Usopp during his fight with the Mole Lady and Mr. Four, but like not really. He tried to analyze the, uh, you know, he tried to analyze one of them, but like it just wasn't impressive at all. I don't even think he used a rumble. Like, did he use a rumble? He used a rumble ball in the fight too, right? And he still just yes. didn't do anything. Yes, he used the rumble. Uh, he he was kind of just. I don't even really even remember. He did it for like speed, for right? Fight. It was like his speed form, I think. It was he analysis. Used. He wanted to use it as analysis because he's trying to figure out a way to harm this guy. Mr. Yeah. Four. I don't know. So, I don't know. That, that was kind of not where too much happened with him. Yeah. C. It was a C, and I feel like I feel like we're getting a premonition of like, don't expect too much from Chopper in combat. Don't expect much in like creativity. Just he was he's the guy that patches up people, and yeah, it is what it is um robin so by this point robin's part of the crew because it's happening at the end of the uh, arc so we know that yes. she's part of the crew yep i put her at b she's a b rank oh wow that's unexpected okay yeah Rob why why b robin's b rank because we know that she's strong her uh, her uh, devil fruit is like broken in the right moments it's super broken but um there, there are some weaknesses that can be exploited and um i just don't see her putting her at a right now i just don't see her that way uh because she got pressed with crocodile pre pretty quickly <laughs> when uh like she threw a vial of water to try and damage him and then like throw like something off him none of that worked and i felt like that should have i mean she sprouted a limb from his body but still kind of got folded i didn't really uh, can't can't put her at a for that she should have been able to take a couple of swings and actually connect. Um, but that's unfortunate. But she's smart. She's into like she's like the archaeologist, like pony glyph. Like, like she she understands like historical significance in this world is important. Don't know her motive as of yet, but I'm very interested to see where she'll take off from here. I know Liam's hinted at don't hold your breath for a while. It's important, it's really sad, but hey, still a B rank, still solid. She's not worse than Chopper, so she ain't gonna go on his level. 
and uh, she can only go up when Oda wants to give her, you know, screen time. <laughs> That's understandable. I put her, I put her at A because she's just kind of an, uh, an all around. Like at this point in the story, there's two sides to her. She's kind of evil and she's good all at the same time. And I kind of like that contrast between her uh, as we go through the Alabast arc. So this nice. is what I did. Princess Vivi, Vivi Chan. She is C rank. Um. I people can put her at B if you want. It's fine. Popularity wise, she's B A. You know, totally fine with that. But combat prowess is pretty much on the same level as Chopper. She's not gonna really be able to take anybody out. Um, her she her little like razor weapons are pretty like cool. Like she can just like stow them <laughs> from anywhere and just whip them out, which is crazy to me. Um, but yeah, she's uh she's C rank and um. She did really good politically compared to like her father in the kingdom, so that's there's that, but that's kind of all I got. Okay, I I put her at A be just because Vivi is more than a princess, way more than a princess. She's a great character. All right, Princess Vivi's dad. Uh, I don't even know his name. Don't bother. But he's Vivi's dad, and I'm putting him at F rank. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yep, putting him at F rank. Anyone could be him. Anyone. Anyone can be this man. If you really think about it, what did he do? What did he do? He led Crocodile to a Poneglyph. And the only reason he was the one that had to do it was because he said, only the king knows the location of this Poneglyph. Okay. So anybody who knew the location, like Vivi was going to know it eventually when she became ruler, they'll tell her where the location is. Yeah. All, all right. That's all you're here for, my boy? That's it? Karu, a literal duck, if he knew where the Ponyglyph was, could have filled this man's role. F, F rank, wasn't doing anything for me, didn't do anything for Koza, didn't do anything for his town, uh, for his uh, kingdom, his people. So, nah, F rank. Okay. That's understandable. All right. Mr. Nine, Vivi's partner. Put him at D. We don't oh. see him. We don't see him a lot, but I don't know. He's, he, he was a good compliment to uh, Vivi's alt, alter ego. And uh, mm. I don't have any complaints to me. I just don't. I don't like Mr. Nine. So F. <laughs> we we flipped. Flat out F. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, Karu. The duck who I talked fondly of just now. He's B rank. He's saluting to his status of B rank. Um, Hell yeah. He's, he's just a really good character. He's not a mascot like Chopper is going to be, apparently. Chopper is just, Chopper turning into a mascot. It's almost like you want Chopper not to be able to understand human language. It could have done better for his rank, but because he knows human language, it's like nerfing him, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, Karu, not only did he deliver a very important message to maybe Vivi's father, because we're kind of iffy on when the switch happened with Mr. Two, and, Vi uh, and Vivi's father, you, you remember that? Where Mr. Two is masquerading as Vivi's father? Yeah. We're kind of confused as to when that happened because usually his guards would have been with him 24 seven. So still confused oh. about when that kidnapping occurred, but yeah. Karu did deliver the message and that's pretty important. Um, he also was involved. Well, he like really defended Vivi like during like the whole like, uh, was it a trample scene or was it like an actual number that was it was uh pressing? it was during when like the camels were marching towards the city a uh, vivi was vivi got knocked yeah and then karu the shielded her that's right yeah yeah, yeah karu was a pretty yeah karu was karu was amazing that whole moment was crazy um then he like threw vivi up to like keep her like to keep going to the the, the kingdom and stuff from the yes. wall like he's he he he's ran up he ran up a wall vertically vertically just ran up a straight line, 90 degrees. That's like, that's defying physics right there. So yeah, B rank and it's not even close to be like, you couldn't convince me anything lower. Oh, anything lower, but I could convince you to put him in S. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> uh, he's, he's S in my books. So. You know what could have been an S rank is the, is the turtle squad. <laughs> oh, uh, Turtle squad, which is up next, turtle squad. I'm putting that C though. I'm putting that C, they could be a B. But come on, that that would just make this an outrageous list at that point. They barely get any screen time. 
but they're already on Chopper's level. Get, I mean, come on now. It's it's not, it's, it's sad when you look at the other characters that'll be on C rank, but at the same time, these turtles, man, they got hands. They got hands. They can, they, they can strong. swing. They yeah. can swing. Didn't they like, they like beat up Usopp when, <laughs> I think, I think Usopp was saying something. They like KO'd Usopp and then Luffy yep. beat them. And that's when they became Luffy's like, like protege. Disciples. Like, disciples. Disciples. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, that was cool. Luffy, Luffy wanted to take him. I wish Vivi just said, let him, but Vivi was trying to be the mature one and said, no, they have to oh stay in God. this climate. Imagine later on down the line, we just have a horde of turtles if Luffy ever decided to keep them with him. There's a horde of turtles marching through the world. Man, don't. That'd be great. Don't tease me. I want that to happen. But yeah, C rank, and we hope to see him back because they're cute and adorable. All right, Wapple. Wapple is a tricky character because if you've noticed, he appears twice on this list. The reason he does is because there is a difference. There is fat Wapple and thin version Wapple. And wow. it's yeah. a difference to me. To me, personally, that makes all the difference. Thin Wapple was hilarious co comedy. He was just straight up funny. And I'm putting him at B rank just for the comedy alone. Whoa. Okay. He was a funny dude. I'm telling you, when he turned thin, the scenes that happened were hilarious with him. Uh, Fat Wapple, on the other hand, is the scum of the earth. And he is trash, and I hate him because of how evil he is. So he's super evil, which is a good thing because he's a villain. But, good lord, his like his arc was so not good. It was, it was crocodile worthy of just not great at all. And I mean, when you look at the flashback, when he pimp slapped Vivi... And when she was a kid, already right there, you're like, okay, yeah, this man's a psychopath. He just pimp slapped a little child, a literal child. Then he gets mad and he wants her to fight back so he can have a reason to start some shit. And I'm like, come on, dude, come on. It's not, it's not, there's not even like, it's like, where was your direction with that? So that's a D rank. All right. Okay. That's understandable. I All think right. I flopped. I flopped him around for me. You, you didn't like Thin Wobble at all? I prefer Thin Waffle over Regular Waffle. That's, that's what I did. You put Regular Waffle at F and Thin Waffle at D? I put Thin Waffle at B. Well. All right, Liam's not listening. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Waffle's cronies, D rank. Not much to say. They're just... Nah, I, I don't like them. I put them at F. They're just not good. They're, they're just essentially like a, a Dragon Ball reference. That's it. That's all they are. How are they a Dragon Ball? Oh. The fusion thingy that they did. Hell yes. no. That, yeah. that is insulting. The fusions that are, occur in Dragon Ball. I will not. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't let that one stand. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. What they did was like some Frankenstein stuff. Yeah. No. It's really bad. So I put, I put him in F. Cool. Cool. Dr. Hero Luke. I put him at B. <sighs> I'm going to put him at A because he's a great character. He is a great character. He is a great character, great doctor, um, and honestly, that whole moment with him and Chopper brought a tear to my eye. Yes. I just, I just couldn't bring him to A. I just couldn't bring him up to A. I, I don't know why. I just couldn't. I like him as a character because he he he's he has a really good quote, um, and he's just overall he's just kind of like an upbeat character all the time. Yeah, he's Tony's father figure, basically. Yep. Dr. Kure, Kure ha ha ha, the female doctor, basically. She's also B rank. She okay. taught Chopper the rest of the medicine. So like Chopper, Chopper had like a crash course with Dr. Hero Luke, but he really got a more fleshed out thorough training with her. And uh, both of them are his teachers. They both catered to him in different ways. And they both allowed him to grow as a doctor in different ways as well which was just amazing. And honestly, if you combine both these characters, that would put them at A to S rank for me. But because they were separated, they're B rank to me, at least. Okay. So that's my critique on that. Doc, uh, oh yeah, yeah, best character of the arc though. Well, okay, top five, Little Timmy. <laughs> Little Timmy. Little his Timmy. Name is, his name is actually Kappa, but. Little Timmy's Little Timmy. B rank for me. <laughs> <laughs> Little Timmy's B rank. I, you know what? For no, nah, for the memes, he's he's S rank. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I, I got a meme a little bit. 
Little Timmy's S rank for me because you got to re realize he took a hit from a number and he just, he, he, he lived, he lived. He was not a one hit KO. He took a hit. He could still stand. He could still keep his, like, like he wasn't knocked out like frame one. He was still like being able to stand and like try and talk. It was wild. When I saw the scene with him and Mr. Uh, two, and then later with Mr. Five and Ms. Valentine showing up, I believe to like do yes. the knockout blow. Yeah, that was that, that, that he took two hits. He took two numbered hits. So little Timmy's a God Kazu, not Kazu Koza. I did it again. Koza definitely should have kept like, he should have put him into the army. Doesn't matter if he was young. You could argue he was better than Koza. And uh, speaking of Koza. <laughs> oh, okay. So, hmm. But do you have anything to say about little Timmy? Uh, other than the fact that his name is Kappa and it took me a really long time to find the image of him. Uh, no, he's, he's, a good, he's a good solid character. He is. But yeah, on to Koza, the, the disappointment of the arc. Uh, he is a, if I can find him. Uh, Koza's C rank. He's average. It's sad. I know. He doesn't deserve to be C. He doesn't deserve to be C at all. I could have a whole video off of the character Koza, which might be a thing. Mm -hmm. I think, I think I'm going to save it for a video because I have so much to say about him, just like I got to say about Baroque. So those could be separate videos. So the, the biggest issue I had though with Koza was the fact that he just kept getting pushed down. That was the biggest issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, Koza's father. Where is he? The old man. Ah, the beautiful smile. He's a C rank. Um, you could put him at B just because of this, the feel good story that he has, but I kept met, uh, I kept met C. So not much to say about him. He just never gave up and I don't know. I feel like he could have gave up because it was a lot of shenanigans going oh. on in this kingdom. He's actually a really <laughs> important character because at this point he's also the one that gave Luffy the barrel of water. Around his neck, though. Yeah, around his neck. That was the thing that first introduced the idea. Because of um, water. Oh yeah, because Crocodile pierced that, right? Yeah. He pierced that, and it went. It, that went down his hand. Yeah, which that Luffy was grabbed. the thing. Yes, it wasn't blood. It was water. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. You can tell people we we this arc did not leave an impact on us. We're <laughs> um, <laughs> we're remembering things right now. Come on now. Let, let us know in the comments section. Was this your favorite arc? Like, don't, don't, don't troll us. Like, you, you gotta let us know. Um, but yeah, Koza's father, C rank, could, it could be B. Eyelash. Oh, S tier. If you want a meme, he can be S tier. I put him at B. What? If you want a meme, you can put him at uh, S tier? No, no, no. He's just a solid all-around character. He's basically that. an animal version of Sanji. Mm, yeah, that's true. However... <laughs> Uh, he is a pivotal character that has changed the course of One Piece forever. Eyelash you know? is like the equivalent of, of, of a pimp. Like, he is the reason why he's Chopper given, is he's alive. given ladies he's given ladies rides and he just sneers at at the men. <laughs> it's like this man does not care. Oh, you're That's right. True. He did give a ride to Chopper. I'll put him an A for that. Yeah, he is the reason why we have Chopper because he remember he fell asleep in that carriage, and he was in. Uh, and then he needed Chopper to go back and around. he didn't know where to go back. So eyelash like, I'll, yeah. I'll bring you back. Yeah. He's a yeah. pivotal character. He is necessary for the story to progress. <laughs> okay. Eyelash is now a rank. Sorry. People. Hell yeah. He's, he has moved up because Chopper is such a sorry ass character now. There's <laughs> <laughs> okay. literally nothing. I mean, I guess he was decoy as well. He was decoy when they went to like that whole six people thing to like separate themselves for the numbers. Yeah. To like hide who was Vivi. Um, I think he, he, he rode on a duck. I think that's what Usopp was so pissed about. He was like, how does the eyelash get a whole duck to himself to ride on? I think <laughs> he's a did camel. That. Yep. He did that. Yeah. All right. Hey, rank. Alabasta townspeople. I'm not even going to spend too much time. I've already eviscerated townspeople before. Let it be known this character that we're using for him or like this character, this token uh -huh. character for townspeople. It's not a reflection on this character. This character right here feels like he could be an S tier character. He oh, looks easily. different. He is easily. This man is built different. He is part of the thumbnail of one of our episodes. I believe it's episode 35. Him and the character next to him 
I feel like they deserve their own like arc. Like they, they look their own show. They we need we need <laughs> we need time skip versions of them. We need names, Oda. Give us names because yeah. these two look way too like flexed out to just be extras in the background. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, the talent people are F. Yeah. They're that's... terrible. They don't even know who their fucking king is. How did he get confused by Mr. Two's terrible performance is beyond and... me. And how do they get mixed up with the Baroque's works? Because the Baroque's works literally have their name and the <laughs> symbol like plattered all like splattered all over their body. So it's like, how do you get them mixed up? Also, how are you gonna say, like, like what's the audacity, right, of the townspeople fighting everybody in their like, like anyone they see, they just hack and slash. So is that just me? Like, if your neighbor is just right next to you, he's he's fair game. It's like, oh yeah, you know what? You didn't give me that cup of sugar last week. You're dead now. Yeah, oh, pretty much. Townspeople had no, they, they they had no brains. But hey, when you have a king that's such an idiot, the people can probably follow suit. All right, Rasa, the Umbrella Girl. I call her the Umbrella Girl, but her name's Rasa. She's a, I guess she's filler, is what Liam says. We're, we're gonna Oda, count her essentially as the entire filler. But here's the deal, right? Either Oda or just the people who made the anime kind of just said "f you, Liam," because she shows up at the end during all the little transitions of characters that were in the arc, and she shows up, so she's not filler. She's not a mirage. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, but she is D rank. Because yeah, I put it right there as well. She, I, in my opinion, she represents all of the filler that's in Alabasta, even though she's not. Yeah, literally, she can show up whenever she wants to, and it wouldn't be like it shouldn't shouldn't be a problem because apparently she is Vivi's friend. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's just hope Vivi actually invites her to you know to tea at some point because mm. it's pretty sad that she's just stuck in the desert for no reason. She's just stuck in the desert for no reason. Her, her home is still like <laughs> buried. <laughs> I hope they went back and like re rebuilt her her hometown. Like, ugh, I guess I guess we won't know. Will we? We'll never know. <laughs> okay. All right. On to Smokey. Oh boy. Talk about a character that. Smoker. So we've already got somebody who fell off, right? He was an S tier character, probably A tier actually, in East Blue. He fell off. He fell. Off. Where is he? He fell off. He is. Uh, let me see. He, he, yeah, he, he's C rank. He's C rank now, people. How do you get a character this OP to be C rank? I'll tell you. You make him sit. <clears throat> you make him sit some more. And then you make Luffy and Usopp spit water in his face. Yeah, that's understandable. He chooses not to fight. He, there's literally a scene when he's in the, uh, I guess, dungeon. And he's trapped in the cage of all the straw hats, or at least not, not all of them, but the majority of them. And Crocodile's just chilling, laughing at him. You know, he could break out. He has a baton sword that's made of prism stone, the same material as the cage. He could break out. Just chooses to just sit there cross-legged, not even saying a thing. Doesn't you know say what a word. Also, could have done is just turn himself into like a cloud and just walked around the bars. Mm, I wonder if he has that much control to like turn his whole body into smoke, but not touch any of the bars. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. It That'd would be cool, cool, but it's not his show. So clearly Oda said, That's no, true. we want to nerf him. In fact, I made a, like, it's go watch the episode. It, I literally just went off a rant. I'm like, yeah, I can already imagine the, the, the production meetings. They're like, but Smokey can break out. He's like, no, no, he can't. No, he can't. His, his, like, make any excuse in the world. Smokey can't do it. So yep. he's a C rank in this arc, and who knows? Maybe he'll build himself back up. But uh, clearly, he's 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 a mascot. Like, we first meet him sitting at a bar eating food, and Luffy, Usopp, just, they just blow. Like, they spit water in his mouth. Then I believe Ace comes in and just ransacks. Like, he just G-checks Ace. Or, yeah, no, he g did, I don't remember what happens, but Smokey just gets flown into the wall, and then like they just walk away from him. So it, it's it's just a mess. It's a mess. I'm sorry, Smokey. Anyway, Toshigi, B rank. Yeah, I know Ooh. Toshigi's higher ranked than Smokey. That I'm telling you, this arc is just wonky, people. I don't want to bring this arc up ever again. Toshigi's B rank. <laughs> she she goes through a lot just from a mindset thing, which is just awesome to see. 
Before, she looked at the world from like a black and white perspective, good versus bad, nothing in between. This arc strips her down to her like lowest level. She's broken. She has no idea what's good and bad anymore. She thought she was always on the side of good, but in this kingdom where things were just so out of hand, it shows her firsthand just how like, it, it's just not that easy to think one's good and one's bad, especially when she sees a, the, the straw hats being good and trying to stop this dictator dumbass from like destroying a, a whole kingdom and, and his people. And that throws her through a loop. Robin K. K. Ozer. Robin K. Ozer steps over her and just literally just talking shit. <clears throat> and then Luffy does the same. Luffy steps over her too. And then everybody's stepping over her. So I'm like, yo, she is not having a time right now at all. And it, it at the end of the arc, she's reflective. She's trying to figure out her way. And credit to Smokey, because he kind of just tells her, hey, you need to stay here and just watch what happens. So he kind of like pushed her to like say, you need to you need to figure out what you want to do. What is your justice? And it's that's a pretty cool character for her. Mm -hmm. One thing I also is still kind of confusing to me is how the how her glasses work. <sighs> that's all I got from you. I just got yeah. a sigh. All right, uh, full body. Let's go full body first. He's D rank. He doesn't show up at all, but he's better than what he was when we met with Sanji. So he's on the uh, Marines he, now. He she shows up. Yeah, yeah. He's on the Marine side. He's with uh, that one lady, the bar bar bitch. But what I'm saying is that he doesn't show up for long. Yeah. But he looks cool. Like he like for some reason he looks cool when he's like more disheveled and stuff. Like he looks better. So a little bit of a glow up. Honestly, the brass knuckles now fit him way more than when he was previously. So, hey, good for him. Moved on up from where he was before to now. Hopefully he wasn't at D rank back then, because if so, sorry, I guess he just stayed the same, but you're, you're better in my eyes. All right, Django. I don't know where Django was, I ain't gonna lie, but I'm putting him at D right now. I don't know if he was at C before, but once again, didn't see much from him. Don't know if he even has the um, he the still hypnotism. Has the hypno he still uses the hypnotism. He didn't use it during this. Though. He did. He did. On who? On himself and um, uh, full body. For what? He just used it. That's literally all. He just used it, and I think they both fell asleep. Okay. Well, D rank. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, <laughs> Miss Hina. Who Liam affectionately called Barbitch. I couldn't think of her name, so I called her Barbitch because she has that that bar bar fruit thingy. You're gonna get a lot of people to be just oh, loving yeah. you, Liam. They're Absolutely. gonna love you. They're gonna love you to death. I gave her a B. She's B rank for me. Um, she is someone that I hope to see more of, not just because of her looks, but because she might like she's another marine character and we really do need more marine characters introduced um just to show the quote-unquote good guys uh and just see how that dynamic works with pirates and how they deal with different issues so far marines have been taking big fat l's i don't know if that's ever going to change but uh when they're trying to um uh, you know when they're trying to address things that are happening in this world they're either super late or just dead wrong at what's actually going on. So <clears throat> want to see more of Miss Hina. Haven't seen any really, except her, 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 her devil fruit's pretty good at like trapping people. So I'm giving her a B just cause of like, Hey, that's good at like neutralizing stuff and we'll see where that goes. Nice. All right. Now we're here with the best character. I got ahead of myself with little Timmy, but it's okay. Because Ace is up next. Ace, okay. S rank. S rank? Why S? He's S rank because no one can touch him. Literally, no one can touch him. He's made of fire. Uh, I So personally, I like water. Water is my favorite element right up there with ice. But fire with Ace and his drip and just everything about him, super super cool um he's a great big brother type to luffy 
he's he he earned his spot more than what Shanks have done so far. <laughs> so so I I give him S. He's he's pretty much KO'd every enemy he's faced in one hit. Um not nah, he doesn't even try. Doesn't even try. In fact, on the bounty hunter guy, which was filler, um <laughs> when he shot Ace, right? Ace could have dodged it. He just decides to let it either hit him or like he like spits fire at it. He he does something to just like he melt. just goes right through him, and he just me and and the bullets just melt right. Like he that is such a flex where Ace can just be carrying on conversations, and he just never will get touched. So yeah, S tier. He could have been there with Smoke. Like Smokey could have been in that club still if you know they didn't just make him sit <laughs> forever. Like if yeah. they gave Smokey walking animations, that would have put him at S S rank at some point. But no, nah, they, they just made him idle. But uh, Ace was here. And Ace gave Luffy something very important. That Liam, to this day, gets frustrated that it was at the end of a filler episode. <laughs> yeah, because it's so dumb. Okay, so the filler episode that we're talking about is the one where the kids are trying to locate their dad, who is a bounty hunter. Uh, and it, that's a filler arc, I believe, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It is a half filler. Like, if you look it up on the filler charts, uh, it's a half filler the equivalent uh, of a farmer with a shotgun in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And at the end of it, the very, very end of it, with like 40 seconds remaining, Ace hands Luffy the most important piece of paper Luffy will <laughs> ever receive in the entirety of One Piece. And then it's over. And you never see Ace again. It's like, what? Okay. That's, that's yeah. literally the only downside that we don't see this character again. So he'll he'll live on as an S rank and he'll just be an S rank forever because you know Ace will be here forever, right? All right. Yeah. On to Dalton. Dalton, where is he? He's B rank. Dalton's B, B rank. rank. He did pretty good at Drum King. Um <clears throat> Drum Drum King. Drum Drum Kingdom. He did pretty good. He was like the he <laughs> it's crazy, right? He worked for Walpole, which is just crazy to me, but that's I mean Walpole was the king. That that's another reason why I put Walpole so low. He's the king of his own like kingdom, right? He yeah. is just no sympathy for his people. Took away all the doctors, just left his people to be sick, starving, pathetic, you know, in a very brutal, snowy climate. Like you can't do that. So as a king, awful. Vivi's father was nice, but then you could also say he was a jerk because he didn't even listen to Koza. Koza was Vivi's friend. Like I said, that could be his own video. But yeah, Wob yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I'm getting all over the place. Dalton, Dalton B rank. He has good combat skills. He turns into like um, a ox, I believe. Um, yep, the ox, ox fruit. He gets nerfed though because he, he loses his hands when he turns into it, which mm -hmm. I thought was just sad. It's like, oh, he carries around that little sword thing, but he has to put it in. He has to literally stick it into the snow if he's transforming into an ox. And I'm like. Dang man, you that's that that's a that's a trade off that uh, I don't know if I can live with that kind of trade off. So he can't be an A rank because literally a part of his strength nerfs him. So I have to put him at B. Yep. Igarum. D rank. Yeah, that's understandable. I put actually I put him at C for two reasons. One reason's good, the other reason's bad. The first reason is the English voice acting. I really like the English voice acting because he actually like scales with his throat clearing. He goes ma 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 ma, whereas in the Japanese he just goes ma 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 ma, and it's just it's just way it's more expressive. It's, it's, it's so way lifeless. way way better in the English than it is in Japanese. Japanese is yeah lifeless, so I put him at C. So I put him lower, even though <laughs> I put him lower though. That, that's funny. You said all that, but you still have him higher than me. Um, yeah. I put him at D because he was just, he was just, he wasn't even, he's not Vivi's bodyguard. He's just her, um, almost like her butler. You know how like but Kaya he, had the, the goat guy. That's true. But he did also take a massive L for Vivi getting blown up on the boat. Disguising no, as Vivi. Robin knew. Robin knew right away, remember? Like, Robin blew that boat up, but then she showed up on the other boat. Like, it wasn't, yeah. like, a tactic or anything. Like, it didn't... But it was it, a self-sacrifice. It was... He thought it was a good idea, and it wasn't a good move. <laughs> he tried to out... He tried to outmaneuver arguably the smartest character in the show so far. That's true, yeah. He also does... You know, his weapon is a 
sacks the machine. That guy. got we got on a we got on a full on argument during that episode. I remember that one <laughs> clear as day. I was I that is not that is that does not improve his rank to me. Cause in that argument, I was just pissed. I was pissed. I was like, there's no legitimate reason this should be qualified as a good weapon. Just because I was talking about angles and and like how you have to be backwards to fire. It was it was getting crazy, people. It was getting crazy. But we we got to an actual, you know, mutual understanding, but nah, Igram's staying at a solid D rank for me. All right. All right, Pell, the bird guard. Try and say that five times fast. Uh, he is D rank. He's with Igram, and you know what? I'm gonna put the dog guard right there too, Chaka. Igram, Pell, and Chaka, the three musketeers. They're all D rank. Oh damn. <laughs> they're all D rank. Oh man. I mean, ugh. I, I don't mean, even. I got Pell's nothing. A, Pell's a great character, but the issue self sacrifice, is, is that he's, right? Is very yeah, self sacrifice, but he survives. <laughs> He doesn't become a symbol for nothing. He doesn't yeah, no, no he's, symbol. Nah. He's yeah, he's just still alive. That's it. Igarum still alive. Doesn't become a symbol either. Yeah. Cause those two were the potential deaths and they both got retconned. Like they're yep. they're they're not actually dead. They would be worth better if they were dead because Igarum symbolized, you know, self sacrifice to like, you know, for for his princess, you know, for the princess of the kingdom, Pell symbolize self-sacrifice for the pursuit of peace for its people yep and neither of them became symbols and the dog's still alive so we, 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 we have something else to talk about for him yeah th i mean the dog kind of got g checked but like didn't didn't do like he kind of just laid there <laughs> i don't yeah. know all right laboon yeah we're going we're going kind of backwards people i know laboon was like beginning laboon. of the arc uh we're kind of all over the place here laboon he's the well He's F rank. <clears throat> oh no! Oh man, I put Laboon <laughs> all the way in S tier. He's just yeah. such a lovable guy, a lovable yeah. whale. And Let's just say, yeah, okay, okay. Continue. This guy hasn't watched One Piece, you know. Here's the deal about Laboon, right? Not the best way to start an arc. Not the best way. I don't care about this whale. Don't care about his backstory. And it would be hilarious to me if he went from having one pirate promise him that he'll be back. To now having Luffy promise him he will be back, and they never <laughs> come back. Mm. That would be pretty funny, but I'm sure that will wrap up be. all the loose ends at one point. At one point. <laughs> all right, the doctor for the whale. Put him at... Crocus. I, I could put him at D. Or, yeah. I could put him at F, but I'll put him at D. I'll put, put him, him at, at D S. because... Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah okay go on why'd you put him at f why, why would you put him at f what, what's there going is, on here the, the the picture his picture says it all wow the, okay yeah <laughs> all right Here's and also about, i know mm -hmm. a little bit more about him than than zeke does so i personally want to put him at s tier the, oh you mean the whale part no just crocus in general i just know more about crocus than than you do so I thought. Personally. Oh wait, I thought I heard you say you put him at F. S. I'm put. I put him at S. Oh, S. that makes more sense. Okay, I thought. I thought I heard you say F. I'm like, what the hell? No, Laboon right. and Crocus are both at S. <laughs> S tier. Fair enough. All right. All right. The unluckies. They're C rank. <laughs> I don't know, man. This arc is so just. This arc. This arc killed me. They're this just arc messengers. killed me. They're just messengers. Nothing too They're crazy funny. No, no, no. Here's the deal, right? This actually made me think, right? The Unluckies. They pretty much kick-started the whole Alabasta adventure when the whole point of like, oh, we got to go and have a diversion straight to Vivi's kingdom. Because originally, they weren't going to go there. I don't know where they were going to go originally, but it wasn't to Vivi's kingdom. They were just going to go through the Grand Line. They were just going to go through it. Um... And that was Nami's whole thing. When Nami saw Vivi and heard her story, Nami was like, ha ha, hell no. We're, we're not going to be involved. You mentioned Crocodile. You mentioned Mr. Zero. I think I heard the mention of a warlord. She's like, nope, we don't want to hear his name. We don't want to hear nothing about him. What? We're, we're, we're leaving. Luffy, let's go. Zoro, let's go. Don't be idiots. Stop fighting. Everybody, get on the boat. Leave. Nope. The Unluckies saw that. They drew Nami's picture, they showed it to her, and said, ah, nah, you're going to be on a hit list now. 
So Nami said, all right, well, we're just going to go into the kingdom so we can, you know, get money and, you know, get compensated for all this BS. So they pretty much started the whole arc. Do you have anything to say? No. Cool, cool, cool. See you, Ray. Crocodile, the villain. Mm. You should already let you know, people, that we're talking about him now. He could have been on the first part of stuff, but... <clears throat> right now. There's a reason we're bringing it up right now. It's because he's not really important. He's C. He's C. I put him in B. I mean, C for Crocodile. That makes sense. So. C for Crocodile. Yeah. C for Crocodile. The funny thing is that his his outfit, his drip is actually pretty good. Like, he's got a pretty good drip. I like how he looks. He could be A rank just off of that alone. But hell no. <laughs> and that could be a whole video of just, like I said, the broke system and all that. He's C. <clears throat> he acts scared. He acts like the most scared villain I've ever met. He doesn't want to fight. He talks the whole time. They were trapped in a cage. He talked their ears off. Could have killed him right there. No, just going to talk. I mean, oh, he couldn't finish the job. He had Luffy dead three times. Never finished the job. Yeah. Trash. 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 All right. Broke members. Mr. One. Oh, boy. Here we go. A rank. Okay. He's A rank. He, he's he's a he is so strong he is a strong character and um unfortunately he met zoro that's literally the only reason anyone else he would have stomped yeah i think well probably not sanji and obviously not luffy and obviously not eyelash he couldn't kill eyelash either no, he couldn't. eyelash is too he's she's he's just too good but yeah. everyone else below him he could stomp pretty convincingly all right Oh, and you see, another thing about these Baroque members, right? We don't really know much about their backstory, which kind of like... They come all we, all we can get from them is combat. So if you liked one of these numbers or like the... If you liked any one of these members and they just didn't rank them high, I'm sorry. I got nothing to go off of, guys. It's literally their, their combat and that was it. So anyway, Miss Doublefinger, she's F rank. I don't oh. like that she turned into a fighter. She should have stayed as a cafe owner to be a hideout for Baroque members to get into the kingdom. It yeah, should have been cool. Her her whole thing should have been like either espionage or like, you know, being you, you know how like they have like like a, a, a cover up like for like like you have a store that's outward facing, but then the store is really just a cover for like a criminal organization and stuff. Literally, that should have been that. The store should have been that. It should have had like a hidden pass passageway to connect to Crocodile's main kingdom so that you would have had a nice underground path for members to go through and not be seen in the kingdom so that they couldn't match face with, you know, Bar Baroque works or, or anything like that. It should, this whole arc could have been so much better as like almost spy thriller and like deceit and like behind the scenes. They were so blatant with the BS, man. <laughs> like, in the <laughs> middle of the city, they would just spill shit and try and play it off. I'm like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. So, she's F rank. She could have been a great character. They just kept her the other way and, like, did a... Uh, this whole arc could have been so much better. Ugh. Yeah. All right, Mr. Two. Mr. Two. Oh, my God. Best character. <laughs> Mr. He's D rank. Bond. Mr. Two is D rank. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't. I don't like him. I don't like how he fights. He self-sacrificed for Luffy's if he, sake. Like I said, if this whole arc was based off of deceit and like behind the scenes shenanigans and spy, he could have been an S rank character. His devil fruit literally leads into being a deceitful person. He can literally just change his appearance to anyone he 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 like what touches. That's that's insane. That is actually God tier if used correctly. They did not use him correctly. He is trash. <laughs> so he has to be D rank, my boy. He just has to. Damn. I it's not popularity S. to me. It's not I only it's not S. only He's it's S tier. Not... All right. All right, fine. Fine. Mr. Three. <laughs> Mr. Three, C rank. I put him in C. He's alright. His powers are broken because Liam. Yeah, they are. During during our watching of the show, me and me and Liam were deducing how his power worked with his whole like candle hair. I don't. I, I think it's broken. I think Oda just like didn't give him a drawback by accident. 
I, I think he's actually just meant to be broken. He can use his wax forever is what it seems like. And so, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's broken. Um, and his power can be very strong. His like, he can like kill people. He could just, he can actually just suffocate them. <laughs> and it's just like, yo, that's, that's crazy. So he could have the potential to be a rank, but he's just C rank and that's unfortunate. Mm. All right. His partner, Ms. Golden Week. Uh, I put her at C rank as well. I don't know. I feel like her power could definitely, her devil fruit could have been could expanded have been, upon. Yeah. It could have definitely been utilized in a different way to probably maybe be more useful. You know what she could be? She could be a long range sniper. She doesn't even have to be up oh, easily. close. Yeah, easily. Because if there was a way to like utilize her paint in like capsules like Usopp does, she could literally fire him for, from afar. But I, I don't know. Maybe her powers only work if she draws a symbol on him. But anyway, I feel like she's really good. Obviously, she's not the strongest, so she has to be C rank though. Mr. Four. C rank. Yeah, a terrible character. I, I could put, put him at D. D. I, I could, you know what? Yeah, I'm putting him at D. I put him at D. He's just not, he's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to scream. <laughs> did, you know what's funny? Is that, is this the one character that sounds the same in Japanese and English? Like, did they yeah. both like master his cadence? Yeah. Yeah, they That's both like the one character. slow pitched and they kind of, they kind of like slurred his voice. And that's really crazy I, and it's it's very rare to have english and japanese sound so similar for that one character i mean usually you know you try to make it as close as possible but like i think these two are like pretty one-to-one -one. i at least i remember i don't know i could be completely wrong who knows but yeah mr four not a great character i didn't like him and the mole lady when they were both introduced uh, mole lady's terrible christmas christmas didn't like him when they fought either so i could put him at i put him at c just because he was so strong but hey, doesn't take much to convince me to put him at D. Even if all that strength doesn't matter if you got a bunch of rocks, you know, like in your head, like you, you got, like there was nothing upstairs. It's like, bro, yeah. try, 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 just try something. He was like, nah, I'm not trying nothing. All right, Mole Lady, Merry Christmas, D. She, you know, her back was her biggest enemy at this point. She complained about her back more than Usopp. Ah, my back. Think about it. She really did. She complained more about her back than the person she was fighting against. Like, come on, lady. D rank. Um, Mr. Five. I like mm. his character. I put him at B. He has a cool character design. Yeah. I like his um, character. I like his devil fruit, even though it's gross. Because he uses the boogers to fight. But apparently his whole body can be explosive. Yeah. I did not know that. I went this whole arc not really realizing until he slapped little Timmy and just blew him up. I'm like, oh, he could just make anything? And Liam's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Anything in his body can be exploded. I'm like, oh, that's already broken. Pretty broken for close range. He's just a bomb. He's the bomb. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, and then Miss Valentine. Oh, did I skip the Giants? Uh, I skipped the Giants. All right, let me say the Giants. No, uh, oh, who cares? All right, Miss Valentine. Uh, I put her at. Oh yeah, there we go. I put our S rank. There we go. Wow. Making sure. All right, people. For this character, yeah, it's about her looks. I put our S rank. She's she looks like a Dragon Ball character. She's not. She's in the wrong show. She looks like a Dragon Ball character. Um, but her Devil Fruit is actually pretty good too. It's like she can change her weight. That's that's not that's not like you can use that in a lot of ways. Imagine if Luffy tried to like punch her. She just turns into like a Megaton beast, right? Luffy could break his hand if he had bones, which I'm sure he, he doesn't have bones, really. But it, it, it would still hurt him. And then, like, oh, you can use that in so many ways. You can't, like, like she could literally stand her ground against anything if she wanted to. She could be as light as a feather and then just plummet like an asteroid, like, which she did against Usopp. I don't know how it didn't kill him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so plot. His Usopp's gone. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right, sorry. But anyway giants the two giants there's nothing really to talk about but they are great characters and they're both belong in b rank okay so they're great characters that story was pretty slow that part of the story was kind of too slow for its own good i think it could have just been done in like an episode and a half to yeah. be honest with you not my favorite part of alabasta so i put them at c rank they were heartwarming if anything and it did establish the whole need of like oh wait no did they they brought up the compass stuff right yes 
Yeah, so they were pretty important to, like, let Nami know about, like, hey... No, 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 Crocus was the one that explained the compass, and then they got the, um, the, that, whatever that thing is that tells them exactly where an island is located, they got that from the, el the, uh, the giants. Mm -hmm. Or at least the island where the giants are from. Or not the yeah. islands where the giants are from, from, but, you know. Yeah. With that being said, people, we're done. Shorter than the other one, great. Still kind of long for my liking. Wish I could have shortened it more. Didn't know I had that much to rant about, but uh, these are the characters for Alabasta. I feel dead inside. It should pretty much tell you from <laughs> how this sh shaped out. This isn't a good list. I'm not proud of it, people. I'm, I, I'm honestly not. If you ever want to bring this back up for me, I'm going to shake my head and say, look, man, put the characters where you want. Let me know on, on social media or just do it yourself. I don't know. Yeah. Let me see where you're putting characters because literally i will accept anybody's list i don't feel too attached to this at all it was atrocious and we'll put up liam's as well right here right there do you want to just uh, yeah like, like <laughs> throw, throw out some characters that are like why like, like like just like surprise me on where you put some of them on so i have not seen his list um uh, i mean Usopp's all the way at the top luffy's i actually put him at the top kadu is at the top laboon is at the top um, uh, eyelashes at the top, crocus right, is at the top. There. All right, uh, stop there. Number two is at the top. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our video. I'm dead inside, <laughs> like I've already said. I will, I, uh, Liam, just do the, I just do the outro for me. My, my, my brain stopped. <laughs> You're good. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, we really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please, hey, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it would help us out immensely and it always just brightens our day whenever we see that number go up we will have more bit. content on this channel yes so don't we're, worry we're we have gonna... so much no, we have so much in the in, in in our back pocket we have a lot we, of ideas coming we will be in our bag it just takes a little bit of planning and we'll Time. we will be a channel that will become legendary hopefully we'll see yeah, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. We really hope you enjoyed our time, not time, but time, time, our tier, tier list. list maker. I could, it wasn't. Both our brains are fried. Hey. Hey. Uh, anyways, thank you everybody for watching, and we hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye bye. Or day. Or day, yeah, whatever time it is. See you later. Bye.